Hey y'all, it's Aaliyah. Today we're doing something a little easier than my last video. That piece was a bit complicated, so this one is a little simpler. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, you have to guess. So I'm starting out the pencil sketch with my mechanical pencil and this sketch was so much easier than the last one because in the last one there was all that wood grain and all that stuff and this one was a whole lot easier and by now you can probably tell what it is I don't know comment to tell me if you got it right By now you can definitely tell that we're just, we've got an elk going on here. And he was a lot easier than I expected him to be. And here we are back with that tiny little black pencil. Do I have a longer black pencil? Yes. Am I going to use it? Not until this one is completely gone. But you can tell the hand cramps are real with this one. And I was going for a sort of silhouette look. And again, like I did in my last video, I almost broke a colored pencil rule and did some, an element that was farther into the picture before doing the foreground. I took a small piece of paper and stuck it underneath the top flap. This is also a greeting card, so I stuck it underneath the top flap there to prevent myself from getting color on the inside of the card. All in all, this piece took me about an hour and a half because the foreground elements were so simple, I guess. There wasn't a whole lot of detail because they're a lot smaller. The part that took the longest was drawing in that grass there. So I'm using my pan pastels and putting in some mountains and then that pink sky. And the great part about these is I can go over my colored pencil and with them. And I can just take and use my finger or a tissue and wipe the the powder from the pastel off of the the colored pencil because there's so much wax there it doesn't stick so 
So the initial sketch, the mountains were not nearly this big, and for that far mountain, I actually just closed my eyes and went for it because it, I was sort of nervous about doing it because I, my thought process was, well, if I mess this up, it's going to be, it's, it's not really reversible. So I'm, I was a little worried, but it turned out looking really good. The lighting in the video does not do the colors any justice whatsoever. They're far more saturated and much darker in person than what they show up on this, on the video here. So I'm just taking that pink and darkening up some more areas and then using this tiny little sponge here to, which is more like a makeup brush and, or makeup sponge and darken and around the elk and around the edges of some places because it's harder to get in there with that bigger sponge. So I grabbed my kneaded eraser and started dabbing around in some of the areas where it just, I wasn't getting the coverage that I wanted and I turned it into like a, a misty effect and it worked really well. I was feeling uh, ambitious here and I uh, tried to draw an eagle which it didn't or the silhouette of one and it didn't it didn't work <laughs> it was looking it doesn't look so bad from this angle but it just it wasn't looking right to me so I took my electric eraser and I erased it and then took that dark purple again and added in some clouds which I really like the way they look I would have liked to have had that eagle but not sketching it in beforehand was my mistake and because of that mistake it uh it didn't it didn't work took a little bit of blue and sort of put it around on some of the areas of the mountains so that the uh, the clouds didn't match them so well and then I take my mechanical pencil and sign it down there in the corner and just like that we are done thank you so much for watching bye